Hello all you lovely individuals, thank you for returning to my channel and my bike room. This is my apartment garage if you haven't seen this before. This is where basically I live in an apartment in a flat and I have to create my own garage out of a bedroom. So it's got all my Red Bull helmets on the wall, my bikes go on that wall. Lots of cool stuff in here but I've got a plan, I've got an idea and it's going to take a little while and it's going to take a few weeks. But I've been thinking about this for a while. I want to build the dream bike, my dream bike, I think just in general the dream bike no matter what, without cutting corners, like going the extra mile, and I'm not talking about top, top spec, I'm talking about taking a bike and making it the dream bike using mods and upgrades and thinking outside the box, which is quite exciting. We're going to kind of like get deep into this one and make the dream bike. So, I haven't ridden my San Quentin in a while, which is here. I haven't ridden it since I cased that massive freeride jump at Woburn. Oh! but I've just spent quite a bit of time stripping it down because I'm going to be building a new one today and that's going to be my base foundation frame and bike for this build so I'm going to build up a new one today with some different parts to normal and that's my like base part. I'm going to go and ride today as well I'm excited to ride some downhill tracks I haven't been riding lately I've just been building getting everything ready for the airbag and making my uh, my compound epic if there's ever been an important video where the comment section needs to come alive with positivity, feedback, creativity and ideas, it's this one. But the plan is, take it and just change it, mod it, spec it, upgrade it from the top down. And really we're talking custom paint jobs, things that have never been done on bikes before, like pretty specific upgrades. I've got a list of things I want to do and it's going to take some time. But I just want to build a bike like it's the last bike I'm ever going to ride one I can like keep forever and know that every single square inch of it, attention to detail, was paid and made the bike epic. That's the plan. You know, I'm going to get a full custom paint job done. I'm going to take it to a paint shop where they do airbrushing and stuff this week. Maybe this week. Yeah, probably this week. And talk about some ideas. So like, imagine you could paint a frame in any way, not just colours, but like designs, drawings, artwork. What would you do? I've got a few ideas, but I'm interested to know. So I need to build up the new bike. Then we're going to go to Woburn. Oh, it is. It's the San Quentin. Very, very, very packaged safely and protectively. It's the same as before, but it's going to be a minter. I love this bike. One of the best things about the old build was the orange Fox forks matching the orange decals on the frame. Now, if you know what Mazoki forks look like, you know that they're bright red like this packaging. So, we can expect a very different colour, kind of colour combo. There they are. Red. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of red, however, I've run orange forks now for probably three years. I'm quite keen to try out these forks. A lot of free riders and dirt jump riders have switched to Mizoki and I want to find out why. But the main thing is, forget that that is orange or there's any orange on it, because the dream build is going to entail customization of paint which means we can do anything. And the forks don't even have to stay red, which is pretty cool. So just forget everything for now. They were just talking spec today, but I am gonna build up this bike right now on a time lapse, and then I'm gonna go and ride it up at Woburn with my GoPros. So it's a build and ride day, and day one of the dream bike. The bike is semi together, it's almost there. Bars are on, brand new frame, which doesn't match the forks exactly, but it's all gonna change color. Chain ring, same story, we can change that color, but it's 32 tooth, absolute black, ovalized one. The carbon cranks are sick and really light, but on my other enduro bike, I've got the Cane Creek titanium cranks, and I'm gonna do my best to get a pair of those on this bike, because that would, if we're going dream bike, we're going like, full notch on everything, I think we need the titanium cranks because they look the business. I put brand new gusset bars on, gusset S2 bars and gusset S2 stem. Okay, they're 20mm rise, 40mm long stem, whereas I run 33mm on my jump bike, so a bit longer reach. They come at 800mm wide, so I'm going to cut them down to 760, 750 I think. But there's the forks, what do you think to the forks? Quite into the black, this coat in here, fully black. Same on the dropper post. So that's going to make it way easier to do full custom colours because I don't have to worry about gold or Kashima. Look, that's what Kashima looks like. 
which is pretty smart, but black is way better to mess around with and play with the colour scheme of the whole bike. TRP G-Spec brakes, which are pretty much as powerful as brakes can get. Can you hear that in the background? Look. Talking of TRP. The rabbits just eat the boxes. That will just open it for me over the next 24 hours. But right now I'm going to finish building this bike, I'm going to take it riding and then we can start looking through the comments to see what you guys would put into a dream bike build and think about colour. I think a big part of this is going to be the paint job and spraying a bike whatever you want. Any colour, any design, even artwork, airbrushing. There she is, fully built, the San Quentin 3. With all my new parts on it, the Mazoki forks up front are 160 mil travel, which is very long indeed. That's why it looks so slack. It's actually insanely slack for a hardtail. And slack head angles are more stable. They're better at going through steep stuff, but like arguably not as good at climbing. But I'm going to find out today how good those forks really feel. The Mazoki transfer seat post, so that's all the black coating, which looks actually great. And doesn't it look fresh? This tire on the back, you can see the 2.5 WT, that means wide trail, so it's like a wider tire for wide rims. These Halo Vortex rims are very wide. Just quickly listen to the rear hub. Whizzing down a road or down a trail, it's like ah! It's semi Formula One car. The classic tree leaf. Oh God. Oh, fresh disc rotors, they need to bed in. <laughs> Attempt number two for a pro mountain bike rider to just do a wheelie. Yes. All right, let's go. Oh, the hardtail. Oh, these tires are insane. on my own it's actually great fun it's actually great I need an 8mm Allen key that I don't have with me. I suck at mechanics. I can't even build a bike and keep it together for four runs. That's the first hiccup for the dream hardtail build, a loose crank, which is a nightmare. I don't want to ride it like that. But this bike, oh, it would be it would be an understatement to say I just enjoy riding this. Like I feel stupid for neglecting it and not fixing it up and getting it going. It's so good. I say it in every video, but hardtails are just great. Everything you put in, you get back. You don't lose energy you don't lose fun you don't lose the excitement of what it is to go riding we're not blessed with the biggest mountains or the gnarliest trails where i live and like this bike makes you get more out of what you've got which <laughs> could be taken one of two ways but it's good <laughs> It's really good. Well, that wasn't how I planned the session to go, but riding on my own was actually really cool, especially on the bike, the San Quentin, which we've just built up. But now, ideas time. If you had a bike which you could paint or design with any colour, any artwork, you could do anything to, you could put anything on it, or you could modify it in any way, whether it gets funky, weird, whether it rides better, looks better, what ideas have you got to be creative 
with a mountain bike. We could go tech with this, like ceramic bearings. We could go funky with this, like filling the tyres with nitrogen. Anything. It's worth a try. Let's give it a go. The dream bike. Thank you guys. You're all absolute legends. This is going to be a lot of fun. Take it easy. Peace.